Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the KuCoin exchange and how you can execute your first trade. I've gone ahead and loaded up my KuCoin exchange account. As you can see, I'm currently on the assets page. This is where you get an overview of the different accounts that you have on the KuCoin exchange and you can see the balances in each account. We have four different accounts that we have with KuCoin. We have the main account, the trading account, margin account, and pool X account. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on the first two. So we're going to focus on the main account and the trading account. When we're depositing funds into the KuCoin exchange, the way that we do this is by using that main account. We can access that either through this tab at the top or we can select the main account right here. Either way, it would take us to the same place. Once we've done that, we can see all of the different assets that we're currently holding in our main account. You can see here, I have Bitcoin, USDT, Ethereum, USDC, and so on. Once we've decided which asset that we want to deposit to the exchange to begin executing our first trade, we would select this deposit button right here. On the next page, what we would see is the asset that we're going to deposit, the account we're going to deposit to, and what is the address for Bitcoin that we need to deposit to in order to receive those funds. Notice that this address is specific to each exchange account. That means if you used this address that you see on my screen right now, it would deposit it into my exchange account, not your exchange account. So make sure you use the one that is presented through your exchange account and none other. Once we have deposited the funds, they will show up in our main account right here. And with those funds in our main account, we can start executing our first trade on the KuCoin exchange. The way that we execute a trade is we first need to transfer the funds to our trading account because the trading account is where we execute trades on the spot market. Transferring funds is as easy as selecting transfer right here. You select the main account and the trading account. So it's saying that you will transfer from the main account to the trading account. You're going to transfer Bitcoin. How much are you going to transfer? In this example, let's go ahead and transfer everything we have and then select confirm. Now that we've transferred some of our funds, let's head over to the trading account. We can see right here the transfer was successful. We have now more Bitcoin than we had before in our trading account. We have uh, 0.62 total uh, across all of the assets that we have. So that means we are ready to trade. In order to trade an asset, let's say we want to trade Bitcoin, we can select this trade button right here and then we could select the market. The most popular market on most exchanges is the Bitcoin USDT market. So let's select that market. Perfect. So we selected to trade on the BTC USDT market. It loaded up the BTC USDT market on KuCoin. So now with this, we can execute our first trade to trade from Bitcoin to USDT or from USDT to Bitcoin. Walking through this trading tab quickly, what we have here in the center and the largest item on the page is the charts. So this is the chart of BTC in terms of USDT over the last however many months. You can select different time periods for these candlesticks. So if you wanted one minute candlesticks, one hour candlesticks, you can also do daily candlesticks. This will show the price of the asset over days. So each one of these candlesticks is one day. Besides that, we have the order book. This is where you can see the available orders on the exchange to either buy or sell Bitcoin for USDT. And then on the furthest to the right, we have the recent trades. These are all of the trades that were recently executed on this trading pair on this exchange. And then at the very bottom, before we could start trading, we do need to input our six digit trading password. Once we have input our trading password, we would see the options to execute limit orders, to execute market orders, and trade between Bitcoin and 
the USDT trading pair. Of course, we also have availability for all of the other different trading pairs that are available on KuCoin. You can see these other trading pairs by selecting this drop down right here. You can select different quote currencies. So right now we have Bitcoin selected, but you can also see KCS, the USD markets, so USDT, but also other like USDC markets or DAI markets. And then there are altcoin markets. Some of these include Ethereum, NEO, and Tron. Each one of these markets uh, is paired with another altcoin as well. But let's go back to Bitcoin. On the Bitcoin markets, we can see all of the different assets that you could trade with Bitcoin. For example, let's go ahead and look at BNB BTC. This is trading between Binance Coin and Bitcoin. As the different orders are being placed, you'll be able to see them on the markets here. So let's imagine that we've executed some trades and we're ready to withdraw our funds. How would we do that? In order to do that, let's go back to our main account. We've loaded up our main account here again, and let's say we're ready to withdraw our funds. We currently have a 1,157 USDT. If we wanted to withdraw those funds, we would select withdraw. On the next page, it would present us with the options of how we can withdraw those funds. In the case of USDT, we have to include a wallet address. This wallet address should be a wallet that you own, whether it's a hardware wallet, whether it's a wallet for another exchange, whether it's a paper wallet, whatever it is, it, it should be an, a wallet that you own and you have control over. So we would input that wallet address right here. We would select the amount that we want to withdraw, and then we would confirm that we want to withdraw this amount of funds. And then KuCoin will process that withdrawal. It will send the funds to the wallet address that you defined, and you will be able to access those funds through that other wallet. So the funds will no longer be on KuCoin, and they will be transferred to the other wallet that you have. Remember that once a transaction is started, there is no way to reverse the transaction. So if you send USDT to the wrong address, if you send any asset to the wrong address, you will never be able to refund that transaction, so you can't get the money back. So that is why we always have to double check, triple check, quadruple check everything that we put into this wallet address uh, field right here. Okay, so now that we have deposited funds, we've executed our first trade and then withdrawn the funds, we can get started with managing our portfolio in a very convenient way on KuCoin. If you have any questions about this video, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We're always happy to help. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.